This is it, man. Welcome to the climb, one day at a time. Dreamers unite, let's go. Sitting down for the last Calgary stream, you guys. This is it. This is it. This is all. Last time in the setup, I'm minorly sad about it. But more, I'm just excited about the future that's coming up. So, uh, gonna crush it, gonna play this late Saturday stream. It is four o'clock. I've been up for about three hours, but doing some work and stuff, so, meh. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stream for a couple of hours. I'm gonna make three videos tonight, including the W Coop, J Coop, Kappa Coop schedule, the home game series that's coming up for W Coop. So, all those plans are gonna be coming out on the channel tomorrow, my poker channel, on Monday, when you guys are seeing this. So, I uh, got all that sort of finalized and good to go. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can win some tournaments. I'll probably, uh, I mean, I'm gonna say goodbye to most of this art too. We'll do an art review before I, before I finish the vlog today. So, let's get it started. Let's win some money. Time is it, Kev? Late. <laughs> it's late as shit. Time to laugh. It's late as shit. <sighs> it's like 1 o'clock. 1.30 maybe. I have to record three more videos, but uh, to summarize the last couple hours, ate pizza, talked about raising chickens, now we're watching a movie. So I mean, a rational thought would be like, this is the worst things to do, like three in a row. <laughs> Because we're leaving this house, but like the irrational thought is like this is a great idea. So I'm enjoying it, dude. We're gonna turn on a comedy right now. We're gonna laugh our asses off. Yeah, we're gonna watch an hour comedy, record, move out of this house. Oh god, bad decisions. Yeah. It's 3.20 a.m. Oh, it's 3.20 a.m. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? We got work to do still. I don't know what to do. I just decided to eat pizza like a degenerate, watch a movie with my roommates like a degenerate. Oh, so many bad choices today, but it's fine. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just like, I'm just gonna get everything done before I go to bed. Like all the things on my computer, I'm gonna get it done. Cause there's no point in just putting them off to tomorrow. Cause then they're on tomorrow, so. It's like, whatever. Uh, just finish what's what has to be done here, and then tomorrow I can focus purely on just like packing and moving. But yeah, I mean, we're supposed to be starting our day at around 8 a.m. It's 3.20, like, this is not gonna go well. So, some very immature and stupid decisions. But I figured, since I'm packing up this room tomorrow, I need to, I need to say a proper goodbye on the vlog, man. So I don't know. I wanted to talk a little bit about art, which, it's like, um, I don't know, it's something that I really sort of started liking in university. I took an art history class. I mean, that's the extent of my classical art knowledge. <laughs> um, but I don't know, my, both my parents have been in the arts, both my parents are musicians. Uh, my dad taught music at university, my mom taught music at high school. They both retired over the last two years, but um, I don't know why it makes me happy. I know inherently it doesn't provide any value, but I think that's the same of poker. That's the same of, of a lot of things in life, and uh, I don't know, I just enjoy it. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the art that I've bought in my life. So I have a rule on the stream that whenever I have a score over 5K, I buy some art. Now some of these predate that. This one and this one here were, the first pieces of art I ever bought, and they're from Mark Alante. Um, you can find his stuff on Etsy. He also has his own store if you just Google him. So, I really like, these really stood out to me, right? And I found them on a Reddit post, basically. And then I bought them shortly thereafter. The first piece of, uh, I don't know, like non-print I bought art I bought would be this here. Um, and this is from Kobe Feldmos. He has a store on Etsy sort of a sun and the sea. And then it was followed by this here, this little uh, painting on the side. And then Matthew Hamblin, you can find his stuff on Etsy, over here. Oh, and uh, this one too. This one too down here. So those were like, those are my first art buys, I guess. And I, I started buying after the 5K score, starting with the flower painting. This is not good lighting. The flower painting, right. 
So I guess you could say things changed after that for me uh, in art, in that all of those like have a theme, they're very pretty, right? They're all very visually appealing to the eye and like, when people see them, they're cool. And I still like that, but I actually, if I was given the choice, I wouldn't buy any of them today. It's not to say it's wrong, or that there's anything wrong with them. They're people's favorite every time on the stream, but I don't know, I, I just, I went through a shift in where I wanted like some depth to it, you know? And if you guys don't like art, you know, or you don't like thinking about these things, and then I would turn it off, because it's a little bit tilting, I think. People usually tilt when I talk about it. But like, when you, when you look at those pieces, like you look at this one, right? Everything is right there, I find, right? You know immediately what it is. There's not a really a question being posed, or there's nothing that makes you think, or... There's not a lot of depth, it's very, it's very on the face, you know? Whereas some of the stuff I've, I've got into recently, and I don't remember the artists on these specifically, but um, these are from Satachi Art. This one, which uh, Twitch chat calls the penis painting, and uh, this one here. The description on this one is literally called Two Black Slats Interacting. <laughs> and, uh, and this one, Inga, the most famous in the flesh. So I mean, something in common with all three of these, they're, they're all very minimalist. They're all very simple. And uh, they're all like, not very visually appealing, you know? They're not pretty, it's not like something where you would bring, bring a girl over to your apartment and like, be proud of it. Because it's not something you can just like, look at on the face and really appreciate because it, there's just like, I think there's more to it. That's something I've changed, basically. As my, I guess my taste has evolved in that I'm not looking for something pretty or even particularly nice looking. I'm looking for something that makes me think or ask a question or provide some depth. And I still think about these, these things, you know? So when I look at this one, and, and please don't make fun of me because a lot of people make fun of me when I think about this, but I see sort of like a, I ran out of space. Okay, so. When I look at this one, and again, don't don't make too much fun of me, because you don't like my description of it, but anyways. I think about like, a power struggle, you know? So to me, this, when I saw it, was like a social commentary. Is it? I don't know, this is like what I think about when I see it. So I thought of like, the description was two black slats, slates interacting, you know? And I saw the split between them, and the different levels between them, and it sort of looks like they're they're jockeying for position, you know? And I thought about a lot of sort of, I don't know, social social issues and, and how there's inequality and how there's sort of this, this struggle and this difference and there's a, you know, a separation between the two. So to me, that sort of depicted that and it made me think of those things. And is that the universal meaning of this picture? I don't know, but that's what I think about, right? And that's why, like, this to me, even though it's not very pretty and it's very simple, is like depicting a larger issue. Same with this one over here, where I, I look at it and it's like very simple, right? I paid $500 for this, so this is the most expensive piece of art I've bought, is this. <laughs> and it's like, it's very, very simple. I mean, there's detail, right? There's detail on it. But like, people made fun of me for weeks when I bought it. And, and this one was called, He's Such a Man. And to me, it sort of depicted sexuality, both male and female, and so some of the sort of social norms and some of the raw sort of ugliness of it, right? Um, like an unfiltered, unpop cultured sort of depiction of like pure sexuality, uh, which is another topic that I find obviously pretty interesting in our society, how that sort of works and how there's so much social pressure, especially around the female gender and sexuality. And then Inga, is a little bit different. It's not asking sort of a social, social question or like making me think of, of anything like that, but it was just a face where I feel like there was a story being told, so you're getting a reflection. But I think when you look at Inga, right, there's something in the face, right? It, it looks like Inga has been through something. Like there's a story she's telling with her face, right? So Inga is ugly, let's, let's be frank. She's ugly, it's not a pretty painting. It's not something that like you're going to find in a magazine sort of targeted at, at fashion or anything like that. But I just think it's interesting, you know? So you go from this, 
where you can look at it and think and try to story tell and try to understand to like this, which is very pretty and very cool, but like they're, you know, that it's pretty and cool, that's it, right? So I don't know. I, I don't know if that makes sense. And again, I like all of these people that have done these art. I've had the opportunity to talk to Mark Alante on Twitter, which is so cool. I mean, I think his work is awesome. Just in terms of my personal taste, it's changed in that, I don't know, I, I just want something, I, I want something deeper, something that isn't on the face of it, but you need to do a little work up here and here to like try and grasp it, you know? And it can continually change and evolve as you try and figure out what exactly it is to you and stuff. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Most people really hate that explanation, but I'm just telling you guys the truth about how I think about these things and why I like it. So, I mean, these are basically my, my trophies. Oh, I didn't show you this one. That I would say is sort of a gap in between the pretty art and more of the stuff I'm buying now. That was also on Etsy. But to me, it's, it's a little bit more like decoration, you know? It's not asking very many questions. It's just very visual. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anyone liked hearing about that, but I would like to buy some more art if I can win some more tournaments over 5K um, so I can think about it. I mean, I can show you guys the next one that I, I plan on picking out. I just, I really liked it. It's sort of different than some of my other ones, but it's this here. Um, and I really, I really kind of like it. Anyways. That's my spiel on art. I procrastinated effectively. Now I have to do more work. Let's get it done, Jamie. Come on, let's go. So it is uh, 7 a.m. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just finished recording and finishing emails and stuff. The great thing is that I'm gonna shut this computer off and it is off until Montreal. I'll have my laptop and stuff, but I'm um, basically good to go, so. Yeah, uh, really long day, but I think a successful one, you know? I got a lot done. We're, we're on our way to, uh, to moving to Montreal, so that's, that's good. I need to sleep now, I think. Enough of this. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog today. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe. I always read all the comments, by the way. Uh, I don't always respond, but I read all of them. Subscribe to the channel, and, uh, and we're going to be back tomorrow with moving day one. Let's do it. Wait, let's continue the climb tomorrow. See you then.